In Lesson 10, Importing Data from the Web, we'll look at the proper way to import data from a website. Have you ever attempted to copy and paste data from a website because you wanted to analyze that data in Excel? Okay, well, have you attempted it and had it actually work? Perhaps that's the better question. Well, we're going to look at how to actually import data from a website using the import commands in Excel and not only bring the data in nice and neat, stripped of its web paged formatting so you can format the data in Excel, but also give you the option of having the data automatically updated within Excel when it updates on the web. Let me first show you, though, what many times has been attempted, sometimes with limited success, other times with zero success. But with that said, I'm here on the money.cnn.com page looking at some financial information on CNN's money site. And what I'd like to do is keep track of some of the markets here in Microsoft Excel, the Dow, the NASDAQ, the S&P 500. And I want this information not only to be displayed in Excel, but to be displayed nice and neat without any of the formatting we see on the web page here. And most importantly, that throughout the day, I want this information in Excel to be updated according to the latest market information. Now, the first challenge that we face is simply selecting the data that you're trying to copy and paste. So I'll attempt this with a standard selection here on the money.cnn.com webpage. I'll execute a copy command and then head back over here to Excel where I will now attempt to paste the data. And as the data is being pasted, you can see how it doesn't quite show up the way that I would like. It's got all the formatting from the website. It's got hyperlinks here from the website. It just doesn't quite look the way I need it to. And I'm going to have to do some additional work now just to get this data cleaned up let alone have to update it manually when the stock markets change. And that's probably the foremost reason why I do not want to copy and paste this data. So you, my friend, are doing me no good. Let's delete that and show you how to do this the proper way. Now, what I'm going to do first before we attempt to bring this into Excel is I'm going to borrow, so to speak, I'm going to copy, to be exact, the website of the data that I want to import. As the importing of the data is not going to happen from the web browser, it's going to happen from within Excel. And by way of the data tab of the ribbon, we'll find an option on the far left labeled Get External Data. Many choices you see here, one of which is getting data from the web. Now, in a sense, this sort of opens up Excel's own little web browser, where in the upper left corner, you can now paste or type in the URL you wish to go to. But that's why I copied it so I could easily paste it. And when you hit the Go button, it essentially displays the web page. But what Excel will now do is it will look for the tables in the HTML code, the underlying code here of the website, identifying those tables with little arrows. Once Excel has identified the data sets, the tables of the HTML code, it allows you then to select those tables. Once selected, you can click the Import button in the lower right corner and then choose which cell you want to import the data into. However, before you do, perhaps take a look at the properties of the data you're importing. This, for example, is where we could have the data automatically refreshed every so often, or perhaps at least when you open the file, if you choose to have it updated only when the file is active. I'll click OK, and then from the Import Data window, choose OK again, where without all the hype, without all the fuss and the muss, we now have the data imported into Excel, and in a way that is simplified, but again, that gives me the ability to now format this the way that I would like to have it formatted, and most importantly, every 15 minutes, this data would update according to the new figures on the monies.cnn.webpage. And if by chance you don't actually choose to update the information after the fact or you want to change those options later, simply click anywhere in the data area for the web import. And here on the data tab of the ribbon, you can click the properties button to reopen the properties window that I was looking at before I executed the import. These options, of course, can always be found and changed after the fact.